All right guys, so I got my wire nut right there. I got my ground screw right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my ground screw first, which is right there. And there we go, it's going in. I'm gonna take my ground wire and I'm gonna strip that out, wrap around my ground screw. I already destroyed my pre-made ones. So unfortunately I have to make my own right here. So I like to bend it a little 90 degree right there. So it goes in nice and tight. Um, and you can also pinch this to make it a little bit tighter so it doesn't come loose. Go ahead and take your screwdriver or your tightener of choice. Hit it with a flat blade just to make sure that it is tight. Okay. And now I'm gonna strip out the end of this so it's ready to go. Right there. And once again, I'm gonna cut these wires and these will be ready to go. And then I'll strip these out. Okay, so those are ready to go. And then these wires right here on the back of all my devices, I'll make these ready to go here too. So I just cut those and strip all these. So I got all my ground wires ready to go and I'm gonna bring them together and tighten them down with a wire nut and match up all the ends right there. Make sure your stranded one is above at least one of those. And then go ahead and tighten those down. So once again, always pull on your wires, make sure they're not gonna be coming out anytime soon. And then my neutral is gonna to go to my neutral, tie it together with the neutrals. And then I'm gonna hopefully pick the right wire here to tie these together. So I know my receptacle right here is gonna to go to one of the wires for the switch leg for my receptacle to have the switch plug because I um, didn't make that direct connection. So I'm gonna just do that with a wire nut. So I might have to change the wire and I might also have to flip the switch over just for my exact scenario because I'm using a three weight instead of a single pole once again. But um, you're always gonna wanna use your single pole. I guess there are some switches that are different. So but most, most of the time your ground wire is gonna be at the top, but the device will say on your single pole switches, it will say top. So you know which direction to um, put your switches because they are directional. All right, so next we're gonna take our incoming wire for power and tie that to our power wire if that is the correct one, hopefully it is. I will be testing this shortly once I hook it up to power. Uh, and then we're just gonna take those wires and tie that together. And that will be it for this. And then we will have that ready to close up here. Be sure to pull on your wires once again to make sure they're not gonna come out. So those are all good to go. And now we are ready to take off the uh, box screws to put on the cover. And I'll probably just switch over to my drill here because it's gonna be faster. All right, so now once we are ready to put in our wires, we're just gonna simply fold these up nice and tidy. And fold this. It's nice when you have solid wires because they actually stay in place where you bend them and the strand of wires not so much. But anyways, you're gonna fold these up nice accordingly. And then kind of just give that a nice bend and then slowly get that ready to go. And then mount our screws with their locations. So there's that one getting started, and then this one over here. All right, so there we have it. There is our disconnect switch right there for our receptacle. 
and you just want to make sure check around the outside of the box make sure there's no wire smashed in there because that will be direct short anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video once again i will be testing this out in the next video so stay tuned but that's going to be it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and subscribe see you guys back in the next video god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace